Hello, and thanks for tuning in. After years of development, we're very excited to finally show you the newest member in our family of Easy Line products, Easy Base. The Easy Line has always been about songwriters, specifically removing as many barriers as possible so that they can write great sounding music. From the start, it's been our mission to not just provide a great sound library, but to give you tools that allow you to use the sounds to actually create music. Over the years, ToonTrack has developed a number of intuitive songwriting features that significantly aid in the songwriting process. And that's exactly where we pick up with Easy Bass. We've adapted the same ease of use that's made our other products very popular with songwriters, and we've paired these features with two expressive bass sound libraries. We've also added a few new songwriting features specifically for bass. So let's dive in and see what Easy Bass can do. I'll start here on the bass tab and go over some of the key features. First, you'll notice the beautiful, fully scalable and resizable interface. Just like in the other products, the interface is interactive and it will display the notes that are currently being played. Above the bass itself are the instrument controls. This is where you'll dial in the sound and the intensity of the preset that you've selected. And these controls will vary based on the preset that you've chosen. Moving to the left are the library and preset menus. As I mentioned earlier, Easy Bass includes two libraries, a modern library and a vintage library. Both of these libraries are meticulously sampled physical basses. This means that the bass is not synthesis. It's an actual recorded instrument, multi-sampled in the very detailed tune track fashion by an actual bass player. And we did it this way because it adds the unmistakable human element. This includes slides, slap articulations, and harmonics. And of course, there's also standard playing articulations, which include alternating fingers, or up and down stroke picking, percussive left and right hands, tapping, and ghost notes. All right, let's take a look at how Easy Bass works in a real-world scenario and go through a few of the possible workflows. Here's a quick demo of what the track I'm working with sounds like without any bass. The first thing that I'll do is add a groove to the song track with the Add Groove button. Clicking this button gives you an eighth note pattern with chords in the key that you selected on the song track. The song is in E flat, so I have E flats on the song track, and it sounds like this. I can then double click on the chord to bring up the chord wheel and change the notes to whatever I want. You can also change the duration of the chords to match the changes in your song. And when you make these changes on the chord track, the MIDI below follows along. Let's hear what that sounds like. Now I'll spice it up a little bit by adding transitions between the chord changes. I'll switch over to the Grid Editor tab so that you can clearly see what's happening when I add these transitions. You can do this very quickly by selecting a chord on the track and then choosing one of the transitions from the menu. You can also change articulations on a note-by-note -note basis and add slides between any two notes. Okay, let's hear what that sounds like now. So as you can see, it's incredibly easy to write a very convincing bass line that follows the chord progressions of your song. But what if you want something a little bit more complex? Well, just like in Easy Keys, you can change the playing style of the bass MIDI that's on the song track and conform it to other styles found in the Grooves tab. Pay 
attention to the MIDI selected in yellow on the song track and notice how the timing and duration of the notes change as I select other styles from the browser. Once you've found a playstyle that you like, you can edit the performance using the controls in Edit Playstyle. Here you can quickly adjust the amount of notes in the bass line, the velocity, damping, which at low levels can sound like old strings, and at high levels it replicates palm muting. And finally, note length, which changes how long a note is held. So far we've taken a look at how to write a bass line in a more manual way using the song track and the groove library to change the playing style. Now we'll move on to the Audio Tracker tab and take a look at how Easy Bass can automatically create a bass line with an audio file. Here's a quick demo of the track I'm working with, starting with the DI guitar and then fading into the full track without any bass. With the audio tracker, you can drag and drop audio files of guitar, bass, or even rhythmic audio files, where Easy Bass analyzes the transients and adds notes with the same rhythm. Tracker will then convert this audio file to MIDI, and it can be played back by Easy Bass. This works best with direct input guitar or bass recordings, but it can work with other files too. It all depends on how defined the transients are and how well it was recorded. Once you drag an audio file into Tracker, you'll see a few options in the project setup that allow you to tailor your results. Getting the tempo right is important, so you either have to type in the tempo of your song or use the appropriate option in the drop-down menu so that Tracker recognizes the correct tempo. You can also choose what type of bass articulations to include or exclude from the tracked results. And that's it. Tracker will display the note triggers for each note and color code the various bass articulations that were used. At the top of the interface, you can dial in the mix between Easy Bass and the audio file. This is useful for checking the results before you add the MIDI to the song track. Let's hear what that sounds like. The tracker in Easy Bass provides a lot of editing features for tailoring the results to your song. Very quickly, you can add notes that Tracker may have missed, transpose notes by dragging them up or down, or even selecting a group of notes and moving them an octave at a time. You can even quickly change the articulation of the detected notes. Once you've finished editing, add the MIDI to the song track in Easy Bass. Now, you could stop there, or with the MIDI on the song track, you can edit further in the grid editor. This will give you individual note-by-note -note access for velocity and articulation adjustment. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like after some editing. The last workflow that we'll go through will be using the MIDI tracker found on the Drums and Keys tab. This tab allows you to drop in either drum or piano MIDI. Easy Bass will then use the MIDI to configure a matching bass line. Once you decide on a rhythm, you can drag the MIDI to the song track and build your chord track so that it works with the chord changes in your song. Using piano MIDI, on the other hand, is a bit more automatic because the chord changes are already in place. Here I have a country song with some piano MIDI that I'll use to create a bass line. Let's hear what that sounds like.
Once you drag in the piano MIDI, you have the choice to either follow the left hand of the piano or the rhythm and chords. Because this piano part is relatively simple, I'll choose the rhythm and chords option. And like magic, you have a bass line that follows your piano track. Now you can use all of the features that we went over in the first demo, such as the transition editor and edit play style to further customize your bass line and make it stand out from the piano. But as you can see, the MIDI tracker can get 90% of the job done in literally seconds. Here's the final version with added transitions and articulation adjustments. We're very proud of the hard work that's gone into making Easy Bass such an amazing tool for songwriters. At TuneTrack, our goal has always been to develop modern solutions for composing music. In the workflows that we've gone over today, we've seen how you can quickly add bass to your songs with the chord track and the change playstyle feature. Then we took it a step further with the audio and MIDI trackers, all while maintaining complete note-by-note -note and articulation control, giving you full creative freedom for the final product. As the songwriter, you decide the chord changes, rhythm, and feel of the bass line. We just provide the tools that get you there faster. From all of us here at TuneTrack, we'd like to thank you for watching, and we're very excited to hear how Easy Bass is put to use in your music.